log in to Jenkins using GitLab. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.414.3. Now, before we go in and set up our integration with GitLab, let's go and review the plugin that we need to install. If you go out to plugins.jenkins.io, you will find a plugin named GitLab Authentication. Now, before we take a look at the rest of the documentation for the plugin, let's make sure that the plugin is already installed. So I'll click on Manage Jenkins, Plugins, click on Installed Plugins, and let's search for GitLab dash O, and we'll see the GitLab authentication plugin has already been installed on this controller. Now, in order to understand how to use this plugin, we'll go ahead and click on the more comprehensive documentation link, and that will put us on this page. And let's go through the setup. Before configuring the plugin, you must first create a GitLab application registration. For the scopes, we'll mark it API. So let's go ahead and go over and do that. So I'll go into my GitLab account. I'll go to my profile, preferences, and then let's go ahead and click on applications. What we'll see here is that we don't have any applications to find, so let's go ahead and add a new application. I'll give it the name of my controller, which in this case is J11. For the redirect URL, let's go back over to our documentation. The redirect URL must be our base URL for our controller plus security realm slash finish login. So let's go ahead and copy that over. We'll go back into our redirect URI, paste this in. Let's go back over to our controller. Let's copy our base URL for the controller and put it at the front. So now what we have is our base URL slash security realm slash finish login. Now also remember from the documentation that we need to set the scopes to API. So let's go ahead and select API. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and click on Save Application. Now what we'll see here is that we have an application ID and a secret. Go ahead and copy those two values, the application ID and the secret, because we're gonna need those in a few moments to set up our integration within our controller. So let's go ahead and click on Continue. That'll take us back to our Applications page. We can see our one application here. Let's go ahead and go back over into our controller. Now to set up this integration, we'll go to Manage Jenkins. We'll go down to Security. So first up, let's go ahead and change our security realm from Jenkins' own user database to GitLab Authentication Plugin. What we'll see here is we have four fields to fill out. Since I am using GitLab.com, the values for GitLab Web URI and GitLab API URI are going to be the same. In this case, they're both going to be GitLab.com with HTTPS. Now, if you take a look at the help for the web URI, if you're running GitLab Enterprise, you should use the URL for your GitLab Enterprise installation. For the API URI, then you will also make changes to what the value is for the API URI. Let's go ahead and scroll down. We have two fields left. We have our client ID and our client secret. We'll go ahead and paste both of those values in, and then let's go ahead and click on Save. Now at this point, you'll look in the upper right-hand corner and you'll still see admin. So I'm still logged in as admin. So until I log out and then log back in, I'm still using my local authentication. So let's go ahead and log out. We can see that we're now logged out of Jenkins. However, you've not been logged out of GitLab. That's what we would expect. Let's go ahead and click on Dashboard. Now we get redirected over to GitLab. Authorize J11 to use your account. I'll go ahead and click on Authorize. And now we're logged into our controller. You'll also notice that since I'm no longer logged in as admin, I'm logged in with my name. Well, my name was brought over from GitLab. If we go ahead and take a look at the configuration, you'll see my full name there. And if you scroll down, you'll also see my email address has been autofilled for me. All of that information came directly from GitLab. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.